Hello everybody and welcome back again to Mass Effect 3. So, after the rather sobering defeat of the last episode, I think uh, we need an easy victory before we continue with the next main story. So, I guess I'm going to do the N7 mission first. Although, arguably, the N7 missions aren't really that easy. They tend to be kind of difficult, actually. But uh, I want to get this done before I continue with Priority Horizon. Because I can't do any of this. I still need the Cerberus Cyphers, I believe, and um, the other quests are bugged. And, well, there's a DLC, which I'm probably going to do after this priority mission. So yeah, this is the plan for the next few episodes, but let's start with the N7 mission. I'm already in the proper system. I've been doing some planet scanning um, before starting this recording, so we can... Um, begin this mission right away at Ontarom. I remember Ontarom. I think this was a planet that we visited in, in the first game. This habitable world had been living in the shadow of disaster long before the Reaper War. Its moon's orbit is decaying, causing tidal disruptions and electrical storms before its eventual collision. When humans settled on Ontarom, the Asari derided it as foolish, but today the humans look prescient. <laughs> the communication hub uh, they set up on the planet has hundreds of quantum communicators whose information is spread through broadcast on the planet and beamed out via combuoy. While Ontarom has yet to be attacked by Reaper forces, it is likely just a matter of time. Yeah, I do remember this planet. Um, I... I don't um, exactly I remember how, how long the planet has before the moon is going to crash into it. But I, I can see that to the Asari who live like 1000 years, um, it, it may seem foolish when, you know, for humans it's still a long, long way in, in the future. So <laughs> it's probably because of that. Anyway, let's land and take care of the communication hub and... Let's take Tali and Liara. So, our girl team. Um, this should be fine. Huh. I probably should upgrade a few more guns. I have a lot of money and... I mean, I, I don't really need the money anymore when the game is over, so... I don't really have any reason to save this stuff. I'm probably going to do another shopping run um, sooner or later and upgrade some stuff. But I think this is, can stay for now. Yeah, I think I actually reached my maximum level, so um, these three points are completely pointless. So are those two points. But I can do something with um, Tali's six points. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put them into sabotage, why not? Um, I do like this. Okay, uh, let's go. Commander Cerberus has taken one of our secret communication facilities. All campaigns in this theater depend on the information that dish array supplies. What do we know? We're getting intel from a tech who survived the attack. Grace Sato. She's hiding in a security bunker off-site. A civilian? Yes, patching her through. Miss Sato, what's happening down there? I'm staying hidden, but I'm the only one left. They're trying to hack into our systems to access Alliance operations protocols. I'm tracking their activity, but they're bound to find me sooner or later. Hang in there. We'll be there soon. Yes. Yes, Commander. <laughs> it's not ideal, but she's the only one with any traction on this. The information stored in that network is critical, Commander. If it gets into enemy hands, we'll lose a lot of good people. I'll take care of it, Admiral. See that you do. Hack it out. Alright, this sounds like a problem that we can solve after the uh, disappointment of the last episode. So, this is maybe a good, a good confidence building um, measure. Alright, here we go. Um, uh, hang on, hang on. Before you do anything, let me quickly arrange my quick bar. I'm going to take your energy drain. And I do like the combat drone. And now I should probably take some cover. Sato, we've landed. What are we looking at? 
Uh, we're looking at some Cerberus people, obviously. We'll keep them from hacking in. Okay, so I have to reach the Cerberus hacking device. Alright, um... Oh, some people actually down here. Let's send a combat drone in their direction. And I'm trying to reach that hacking device. So, um... I guess it's probably somewhere in this building. And... I don't see see any enemies in here. Oh no, it's somewhere over there. What the hell? How do I get there? Oh, uh, hang on a second. What are you doing here? We kill you. So, where exactly? Oh, I see. I see it. Okay, well, this takes a long time. There we go. Commander Shepard, Cerberus shuttle. Um, hang on a second, I need to I think they're looking deal with this guy first. They're using comms to pinpoint Sato's location. Oh, no. no. How do we... Nothing's changed, just upload the next set of coordinates. I... Yes, Commander. Updating your nav point. Alright. So, where do I have to go now? Somewhere over there. And... I saw a nemesis. Uh, where is she behind this? Probably is, right? Anyway, um... I'm... I'll do these guys now. Are you still alive? Nope. But there's some people probably inside here. Um, yeah, let me... Let me try to reach that hacking device. Oh, hi! Um, Centurion! Okay, he is dead. Um, yeah, it's somewhere outside of this. How do I get there the fastest? Um, this could be... Yep, this should this should work out. Here we go. It's deactivated. I hope I I hope Liara and Tali can handle themselves on their own for a while because I'm not really knowing where they are and what they do. <laughs> okay, so Miss Sato, come in. Miss Sato, are you there? That's all. She must be afraid they'll find her if she responds. We need the final coordinates. Okay. Grace, listen to me. Can't talk. They're right outside. But we need you. Just give us a final coordinate and we'll take care of it. I know you're scared. This is more than you signed up for, but I won't let you down. I promise. Okay, yeah, be Commander, careful with making such I'll promises. <laughs> Do it. Okay, so um now I have to get over there. Uh okay, let me let me see. Oh I, I see some enemies and I saw something I can interact with over here. Alright. Um they're inside that hub over there. All right. Um, can I send a drone inside of this? Yes, I can. Well, this is pretty, pretty neat. And maybe I can throw a grenade inside too. <laughs> Sadly, I can't really see them through the smoke, so I should probably just try to come a little bit closer. All right. Okay, uh, this works. Um, wow, the nemesis is right beside me. Well, let me take care of her first. There we go. Uh, 
That is another nemesis, right? It is. Um, she kind of seems to be ignoring me, which is funny. She seems to be more interested in the drones or in my companions or whatever. <laughs> um, I need to get off her shield. And I'm out of ammo. Let me change my weapon. And okay, where is the final hacking device? It's apparently. Right, over here. Um, yeah, I I need to deal with that first. Okay. All right, that worked. Let's try this again. And there you go. Um, yeah. Picking up Miss Sato, then heading back to the rendezvous point. Good job, Lieutenant. All right. I I wish I could just go and look around a little bit in this place, but apparently you can't. Our communication station is secure. Operations in this theater are safe again. No small task to keep it that way. How is Miss Sato doing? She has to be transferred to a nearby Alliance station. She wants to help however she can. Good. We need all the help we can get. Hack it out. I'm glad you survived, though. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I got some more credits. I got some more um warheads from doing scanning before this episode. So I I'm over four thousand uh, war points now, <laughs> for whatever good that will do me. Um. Nothing too interesting, just, you know, more fleets, more squads, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I guess I will, you know, make a round trip again and see if people have something new to say after this mission. And then, I guess we're going to continue with the next main story, because there isn't really anything else that I can do. I could go back to the citadel, but I will probably do this anyway after the next mission, so Commander. Not sure if it's worth doing now. I have no new messages. So let's just go and talk to my friends. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony. Tip tree? Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Salarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, um, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's the nickname she's had it since, uh... She's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. <laughs> kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff. Right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You yeah, too. that must suck. Commander? That must suck. How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass-free space we create when we travel at FTL limits any impact of micro-collisions with ambient dust. <laughs> Nevertheless, some ablation does occur at subluminal speeds. Normandy will need maintenance before the year is out. If we live that long, <laughs> I will totally spring for it. Yeah, noted, noted, Edie. If if we survive this, and I will totally uh, take the Normandy in for maintenance. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> but I mean, this is all stuff that you have to consider. <laughs> We're all machines, carbon or silicon. Is there really a difference? People feel emotion. Artificial intelligence is programmed. Punch me, I get angry. I don't choose. I just get angry. Our emotions are programming. <laughs> That's not the same thing. Our emotions are a natural response. Disease, parasites, lions ate their prey alive. Nature can be horrible. So now you're siding with the Reapers? Just because I'm saying the Reapers are alive doesn't mean I want them to stay that <laughs> way. But we need to break free of nature and open our minds to new forms of life. 
So you believe the Geth share the same rights and liberties as any organic being? If that Geth is minding his own business, he has more rights than Cerberus. Mm. Despite my disgust for Cerberus, they're still human. The Geth are just machines. We're all machines. Carbon or silver. Well, I don't know, really they both have good points. People I may be slightly more inclined to side with Adams here. Punch I wouldn't I agree angry. with everything he said, but I, um, I think more than I do with what she said. That's not the same. Genetics don't make us alive. It's our self-awareness, curiosity, and capacity to evolve. Well put, Commander. <laughs> of course you'd say that. You two are practically machines yourself. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Anyway, I mean, I can understand how it would apply to Shepard Excellent with all her find, Commander. implants. The information network terminal has been updated. Right, I found some stuff while scanning, so let me have a look at that. Research data from Pragia. Data on experimental gene therapies was buried in the ruins of the Pragia research facility. That was where um, Jack's companion mission took place, right? While mouse gene therapy takes years to show results, Pragya scientists discovered a way to shorten the process. Two intact sample vials have been recovered from the facility. The only limiting factor is that no more than one such therapy can be applied per 10 months period without causing serious nerve damage to the recipient. Um, okay. That sounds totally safe. Um, so what exactly does this do? Um... Power cooldown bonus, power damage bonus. Um, I don't know, I think my cooldown is fine. Let's take power damage bonus. There we go. Perhaps we can talk later. Oh, fair enough. Let me have a look at your stuff over here. Prothean notes, entry 4. I can't let disappointment stop me from learning the Protheans' history. It's just as naive as thinking they were all benevolent. And I've perhaps been arrogant, judging an entire species on what little time I've had to know its sole survivor. He was hardly responsible for the skewed view I had of his people. That is true. I put forward the idea of writing a book with Javik, and to my surprise he said he would think about it, perhaps it's a start. <laughs> Possible book titles. Okay, Glyph, please flag this as a list of possible book titles. When this is all over, I'd like to publish what we've learned about the Protheans. The Protheans, a living legacy. The Prothean Empire. The Protheans. <laughs> the last Prothean. Living history of the Protheans. I despise thinking up titles for my own <laughs> academic research. Prothean journeys. Journeys with the Prothean. I like the last one. It's very poetic. <laughs> anyway, uh, good luck with that book, Liara. I, I leave you be. I was just thinking about the Banshees. The Asari are so beautiful. And to see that done to them... The Reapers have done the same to most intelligent species they've encountered. Humans, Batarians, Turians, and even Krogan have been modified into Reaper foot soldiers. <laughs> but not Quarians. No. The Reapers have not encountered your people in significant mm. numbers. You don't think it's because of our weakened immune systems? No. Hmm. I just assumed we weren't useful. <laughs> Quarians are intelligent, adaptable, and technically adept. You would make excellent Reaper soldiers. Thanks, E.D. I think. <laughs> Tally, the Normandy has benefited greatly from your work. And your people are providing vital support in the war effort. We wouldn't be doing as well without the Geth. And we wouldn't be doing as well without you. Thank you, Tally. That that is a weird kind of compliment, is it? To say, well, you're not use useless in enough that you you wouldn't be um, converted by the reapers. <laughs> also, I find it funny that she, that she said even the Krogans, like uh, that was you know uh, in question that the the reapers would find the Krogans useful. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, most of my companions don't really have any new stuff to say. All good, Commander. Commander. But there's some, some other dialogue that we can apparently listen into. Just got word from Miss Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. And I hear Esteban got to play the hero with a damsel in distress. <laughs> you know me and my damsels, Mr. Vega. <laughs> that I do. <laughs> so, tell me about it. Hey. 
Alright, so yeah, most of my companions didn't have any new dialogue on this mission. So I guess I'm just going to return to the bridge and well, I should probably feed my fish first, just in case. There we go. Fishy, fishy. Also, yes, I do have um, the husk cat in my apartment now, which is very disconcerting. <laughs> and I don't think my hamster likes. <laughs> no, my hamster totally doesn't like the husk cat. And I, I can't blame him. <laughs> anyway, um, right, I wanted to go back to the bridge and um, continue with the next mission. There's still a little bit of time in this episode. So, let's save and do this. Uh, first of all, I need to leave this place. Um, I don't think there are any assets in this system. Probably would have shown up already. Uh, let's scan this planet too, just to be safe. Nope. Alright, um... That only leaves this system, Shadow Sea. Um, every other system should be at 100%. Except this one. And there's only one star system and there's Horizon. Yes, I, I remember Horizon. A temperate world that has hit the sweet spot for carbon-based life, Horizon has a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere maintained by abundant plants and bacteria. Its soil is particularly compatible with earth vegetation and so a thriving human community has sprung up. Horizon's population is in flux. A collector attack in 2185 inflicted significant ca casualties, but refugees have been streaming to the planet since the Reaper invasion began. Since many land illegally, there is no way to accurately track population. Although many colonists resent the newcomers, others have embraced Horizon's new role. Advertisements for Sanctuary, its main refugee center, can be seen galaxy-wide. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, let's see, uh, let's take James. Mm. And I need something to balance this off so that I'm not too combat heavy in my skills. Let's bring Liara. Let's bring Liara. Liara is always useful, so. Um yeah, this is all good. Can I level you up? Yes I can. Um, I'm going to increase your ammo power. Mm. Ignite any enemies with an intermittent explosion. Oh, I like explosions, so. <laughs> there we go. Huh. I mean, James is a real health monster. Look at this. So much more than I. That's why I don't really um, use his fortification that much because um, he's already a tank. Come on. So, what the hell do we know about this place? Edie, the sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in sanctuary. Well, then let's find out. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Ma'am, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak, but I'll try to boost it. This is Oriola Lawson. Stay away from Sanctuary. It's oh. not what it seems. Please, you must listen to me. They're using... Oriana. That's an unexpected twist. That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. All right. Seeing some damage, Commander, but no activity. Some damage, yes. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. 
Stay sharp, people. All right, first of all, let me change my skills a little bit. I'll have another carnage and another grenade. <laughs> and you can use your ammo power and so will I. Um, I'm going to use disruptor ammo. And you can use warp ammo. Major firefight here, commander. Yeah, but who is fighting? Hm. I don't know. Everyone hear that? Yes, radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. Hm. Interesting. So, who has been fighting here? Oh. What the hell? Cerberus! Well, that Cerberus shuttle just crashed. Um A harvester A har what 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 where Oh well that's not a harvester that's a nemesis and a phantom Okay um Quick well this bastards. is going to be interesting <laughs> Liara what are you doing here? That was an interesting move. Um I need to I need to take care of the phantom before it comes to close so let me not lose track of her well apparently she already got to Liara um oh there may there are actually two phantoms well that explains stuff <laughs> so I think that phantom is dead and there's another one over there and yeah, I know there's a sniper over there as well. Alright, um... Well, I can snipe too if I have to, so... Where are you? Ah, damn it. <laughs> okay, that was one hit. And I think looks like they were evacuating. Yeah. And looks that like the Reapers hit. were gunning for him. About time they started killing each other. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a good thing if they, you know, start killing <clears throat> each other. I still believe that at least the elusive man is indoctrinated and <clears throat> probably the rest of Cerberus as well. So there. Um right, I need to get inside okay, here. Okay. For your safety, communication devices are strictly forbidden. <laughs> Why? What happened here? Don't know. Come on. Cerberus <laughs> outbound. Came from that tower. Then that's where we're headed. But there are no Cerberus people inside here. Right. Apparently not. Huh. Honestly, if I, I came will. here, be advised. Communication devices will not I would be slightly suspicious. Old security cam footage. People getting sorted out. That's a big crowd. Come on, let's keep looking. Yeah, I think something is very, very <laughs> wrong here. I don't like this at all. I figure in another week I can finish off the remaining hours of my contract and move from staff housing into sanctuary itself. I feel a little guilty that I'm getting an upgrade from standard accommodations, but that's the deal. Do your time at the front desk, get the perks. One more week. Okay. 
front desk log, civilian proce processing ratios, adults 60% sent to integration, children 85% sent to integration. Suitable candidates are being assigned to temporary living areas in alphabetical order. Family units are being preserved for ease of processing. I don't like the sound of that at all. The last time I saw the word integration on a pad, it was about uh, Cerberus um, recruits being integrated, which apparently is some form of indoctrination. The number of refugees has doubled in the last two weeks. I heard that people are just abandoning shuttles outside the main gate. They just don't have anywhere to go. We'll need to start setting up temporary shelters out there until they can be processed. <laughs> but apparently this place was pretty popular. Exeter report 2139. An illegal communication device nearly made it past pre-screening. Scanner software has been adjusted. No way it could penetrate the central scrambler, but we can't chance a signal leaving the planet. Report filed. <laughs> Why? <coughs> I probably don't want people to... <coughs> uh, ...tell the outside world what's really going on here. Um, okay, so... Where exactly do I have to go, though? Um, oh, can I actually go down there? This may be the way to go. James and Yara are just staying over here. This must be another landing area. Yeah, okay. all those transports outside were waiting in line. But where are all the people they brought? You know, you guys could just come over here and join me. You don't have to stay... Wherever you are, of course. just join me. <laughs> okay, there you are. I feel better now. Got a fragment of something here. I can't call right now, but I'll send this as soon as I can. My little girl got sick, that's why I left. I love you, but I have to take care of her. The <laughs> clinics were closing their doors to refugees. I couldn't borrow credits from you. I don't know where I learned about Sanctuary. Around, I guess? Seemed perfect. Somewhere to hide, you know? Just till she got better. I can see the place out the window. It's huge. They already have people waiting for us. Hmm. Okay. I still don't like this. Got another one. We land in a few minutes. You should see this place, Dad. It's amazing. Look, I'll record a bunch of stuff and send it to you. They warned us about no comms until we're through processing. What I tell you, top-notch security. Mm. Can't wait till you get here. Oh dear, oh dear. Got some bodies. Casualties, both sides. Oh, uh, well, suddenly we have more Cerberus people over here. Cerberus. Yep, I see. Alright, uh, let's take down these suckers. Um, I just see normal assault troopers, which shouldn't be that much of a deal. There we go. An observation deck. It's a dead end. We need an exit. Keep looking. <laughs> I'll take this. Hmm. Um. <gasps> pool maintenance. Oh. What's that? That's Miranda. Okay. Managed to get this far. You must be desperate <laughs> or stupid. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run by my father, Henry Lawson. Huh. Turn back now. There is no help to be found here. All communication is being blocked from the central tower. Sanctuary is a lie. Stay away. Okay, so we've got Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. <laughs> Any ideas how this all fits? 
So they're luring people here. And not for their own safety. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I should probably make a cut here because I, I don't know when when I can save the next time and I can save at the moment. So let's let's end the episode here and we will continue to investigate this place in the next episode. So thank you for watching and see you again next time.